Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be designing an apartment for a sim that I made. Meet Aurora Ruiz. She is just planning on getting started with the politician career and I wanted to design an apartment for her style and her future dreams because I really haven't played around with that career yet. So we're gonna have her join the politician career to get started and then we're gonna work on designing an apartment for her but first i wanted to say a massive thank you to redecor for sponsoring today's video it is available now for android and ios and you can download the app for free right now in the description down below redecor is a unique game that allows you to design photorealistic rooms right on your phone uh, this is like so right up my alley and there's so many different things to choose from so many different rooms and so i was really excited to work with them because I absolutely love designing. They even have a challenge going on right now where you can redesign the Oval Office, which I think is going to be perfect for our Sim Aurora. Every level is a competition, so you design a room and submit it to see how you did. Uh, I designed an office. I thought it was kind of cute, a little bit neutral, but I guess nobody else agreed with me. It didn't do so well, but it is such a fun challenge with so many colors and patterns to choose from in this game. But sometimes there's some questionable choices made as well. I think there is a little bit too much pattern and color here for my personal taste. And I think, um, I think grandma might have might have agreed with me a little bit here. If you're like Aurora, you might have thought at some point how you would decorate the Oval Office if you were president. It always looks kind of similar, but you can go in there and change it up to your liking and try and make it look better. Or you can kind of do what I did and have a little bit of fun with it. I made it kind of overwhelmingly pink, which is a <laughs> bit of fun. So if you are up for a challenge, make sure you download Redecor right now for iOS or Android. There is a link in the description down below. Thank you again to Redecor for sponsoring today's video. Now let's decorate Aurora's apartment. So we are starting here in 1310 21 Sheik Street. It's a smaller apartment, but it is not tiny by any means. You could definitely make this a two or three bedroom apartment, but I decided to just make it a one bedroom with a walk-in closet. And I really like how this came out. It's a little bit different because like I said, I did have a sim in mind for this. This is for Aurora Ruiz, our uh, aspiring politician. Hopefully someday the leader of the free world in the sims, which is like the top of the politician career in the game, which actually came with city living, which is why we are building in San Myshuno instead of in Evergreen Harbor. But I really wanted to represent this as one of the earlier apartments that the sim has, maybe their first apartment. And uh, it has a lot of personality based on like the colors and interests that she has, but also a little bit to do with the fact that she has this aspiration to become a really powerful leader in San Mishuno. So that is definitely something I had in mind while I was working on this. And I think it's kind of fun to show that there is a lot more to a Sim's personality than just their career. So, uh, I feel like when I think of like business sims or politician sims and people in general, you tend to just think of their career and being like really strict and dressed up in a suit and, you know, all about work. Uh, but I really wanted to show a lot of color and personality into this space. So. Anyway, I'm doing a different layout than I typically do in this apartment. I've been really having a lot of fun experimenting with weird layouts in apartments lately. It's been <laughs> something I've done quite a bit. So we have this incredibly narrow kitchen right in front of a bunch of windows, which I really like. And it's separated off by some half walls into the living space. And this space is also really narrow. I love this rug that I use. This is actually from the bowling pack. Uh, the rug that came with bowling is very vibrant. Most of the swatches are a bit much. A lot of them have like bowling balls and pins and stuff on them, but... There are a couple that are really pretty and this is one of them. And so I was excited to use that and it really inspired the color scheme in this room. I also wanted to add some like movie posters and stuff. Maybe they are really into all sorts of comics and superheroes and things like that. So I wanted some of that personality to come through in the living room. I know that's true for me, especially in my experience. Like my living room is just littered with things that are my interests. So I've definitely had like framed movie posters and things like that before. So I wanted to show that off in here, especially when you're like first moving out on your own. You have your first like job. You're just 
starting to think about what your design style is and how you would want to decorate a space, a lot of times you're bringing in a lot of things you already had and maybe your room at home. And um, that is where my brain was at with this. I'm I'm not sure what I'm calling this apartment, maybe like young professionals first apartment or something like that, because I'm, I'm really thinking, you know, a sim that is just starting out, it's probably their first apartment. It's also really squished in here. I'm thinking they bought too much furniture for their apartment and it's just all smushed into one small space. And also one of my favorite things that I did in here, which we will get to a little bit later, I mentioned there's a walk-in closet. <laughs> Uh, and also their desire to, uh, you know, work up their way in their career. And I was thinking at some point it was important to have a home office, but they didn't have a home office and they didn't want to work in the living space at the table. It wasn't comfortable, but they had a walk-in closet. So <laughs> you might see where I'm going with this. When we get to the closet portion, there's actually like a desk set up in there. And so it's a closet slash office space. So I thought that was fun and a little bit different and I like doing things like that. So I hope you guys do like it. And speaking of which, if you like this apartment and you would like to download it, it will be available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy, G-R-Y, P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffy and that information will also be in the description down below as well. And uh, let me know if you would like me to also upload my sim Aurora to the gallery if you guys would like to play with her. Um, I could definitely do that. I think she came out really cute. I was just really in the mood to uh, make a sim. Every once in a while I do that and I start playing with them and then I f <laughs> I'm so bad. I always like stop playing with sims and forget about them for way too long and I need to like sit down and actually play play the game. Maybe when Cottage Living is fully out I'm gonna be all about that. I could I could see me uh, spending so much time playing with that new game. I'm so excited. Anyway, uh, we're moving on into the bedroom space here momentarily. I'm also reconfiguring this hallway because I was originally thinking there would be like a separate office and then a like ensuite bathroom, but I decided to switch them in the end and have that be a walk-in closet slash office. And then the bathroom is accessed through you know the main hallway which I think made a little bit more sense for this apartment so it's very spacious it's a really big bathroom I had a lot of space to work with in this apartment uh, I was just trying so hard not to go into one of the apartments I overuse I've definitely built in this one a lot but not as much as like Salim's apartment or Penny Pizzazz's apartment so I came here instead and I'm pretty happy with that decision I think it came out really cute also, this bedroom, I decided to do this, that this like trend that I've seen a lot in bedroom design lately, where there's these big mirrors over both sides of the bedside tables. I thought it looked really cute. And then I thought that that painting over the bed was absolutely beautiful. It felt like a very powerful image. And I thought that that would be something that resonates with Aurora. Uh, so yeah, that is what we have going on for the bedroom. And then we should be moving on into the walk-in closet slash office space. <laughs> which doesn't have any windows because it's supposed to be a closet, but I think it came out cute. I am using the modular pieces from Dream Home Decorator to make this closet space. So I have some drawers and some places to hang up clothes, uh, adding a variety of swatches in here. We're gonna be getting some shoes and boxes and stuff as well. But first we're gonna be grabbing this desk. This is one that is from Stewie Escape. I'm getting a nice computer in here as well and then just like a cute chair. Wanted to try and make it look stylish even though it's a desk in a closet but I want it to look nice. If uh, she has to take any kind of Zoom calls or anything like that, her background is going to be all of her beautiful clothes which I think is perfect. <laughs> I really liked that idea and then I was thinking maybe we'd have some like framed magazine articles about where she's working right now and all of that kind of stuff. Also having a little bookcase and I also have some more books on the desk and some like pens and pencils and all the things you would need. It's very simple because it's just a put together desk space in a closet. And also I had mentioned I was imagining this is probably her first apartment. So while there is lots of furniture, I didn't like over clutter the space and make it super messy. It's fairly simple. There's just like maybe we bought too much furniture for the apartment. That was definitely the vibe I was going for. And then I just got a mirror in there and then we're going to be just decorating the hallway space here. I just have a closet which I will be adding momentarily as well as this end table with some paintings on it. A little poof. Uh, here I am about to add the closet in. I was trying to figure out how to fit this in the space. 
It's definitely a squishy main entrance, but I think it has everything you need. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to so be notified of every single time I upload a video. And thank you again to Redecor for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out the link in the description on how you can download the app for free on iOS and Android. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see you all soon. Bye everybody.